Hello, welcome to day 17 of Vlogmas. So today I've got lots of orders that I need to finish and get posted and I do intend to record a podcast today but we'll have to see because I'm going to prioritise the orders first. If I don't get a podcast recorded today I'll do it next week and have it as a Christmas special and it'll be a big one I think. So this is the Eve dress from Sew Over It and I just fancied dressing up and being a bit fancy today. <laughs> so it is a gorgeous wrap dress that's for woven materials and it's got a high low hem at the bottom and floaty sleeves but there are an option to do a straight bottom and some longer straight sleeves as well if you don't want to be so sort of floaty. I think this dress is possibly the most flattering dress that I've made. I just feel that it's really slimming and really comfortable as well. The fabric that I've used is a viscose so it's lovely and drapey and I picked it up from Fabricland. It's really inexpensive actually, I think it was £4 a metre. I doubt whether you'll be able to get the same print now but I used about three and a half metres I think so it's quite fabric thirsty this pattern but I do absolutely love it. really enjoy wearing this, it makes me feel so happy. Okay, so I have a confession to make. I have an enormous button collection. I'm gonna show you now. So this is where I keep my button collection. And basically, one, two, three, four drawers are all buttons. And I have a drawer full of beads, and then a drawer with lots of bits for my free motion quilting and some of my freezer paper. So first drawer, it's got some samples that I've been sort of practicing on and some bits of fabric ready for me to do free motion quilting. I've got some samples there that I've, um, I've kept. There's a few different ones, just on scraps of fabric. And my freezer paper at the front sometimes stops the drawer from closing. Second drawer down, so I have this drawer with all my beads in. Um, all different coloured beads here from different companies where I've picked them up at craft fairs or charity shops and this is a bowl that I like to use when I'm doing beading just to house the beads so that they don't roll away so that's my beads drawer next drawer down is my button drawer for purples, pinks and yellows <laughs> So this basically just houses all the buttons that meet that colour criteria. <laughs> so next drawer down, I have my darker coloured buttons. So these are mainly blacks and browns. And there are some gold ones in here as well. But I do have a separate bag for sort of silver and gold um, buttons further down. But these have got quite a lot of black on the front of them. So that's why they're in there. I've got big baskets of some of these as well that I use for the shop. Next drawer down is my sort of white and cream section and this tin has got my silver and gold buttons in. So quite a lot of these are vintage ones. I don't like to get rid of them and I've got a nice Christmas tin. They're mostly in plastic bags which don't look very nice but actually it keeps them together the same types of button. Last but not least is the blues and greens and I've got quite a lot of these blue and green buttons. Um, sometimes I've collected them from car boot sales, sometimes I've bought them from shops. 
Um, some of them I've got a lot of the same colour. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> but I've got quite a few buttons. I probably don't need to buy any very often, but sometimes I have to. Because you do, don't you? <laughs> so I've spent quite a lot of time working on some bags today. I'm just pinning a bag together ready to sew. I've also spent a time doing some boring paperwork. I had to fill in some forms um, to do with exporting things to the EU now. We're coming out, which is a bit of a pain, but now it's done, I think. Hopefully I've done all the paperwork correctly. I'm sure you want to know all that rubbish. <laughs> so I've got a few bags that I need to finish off and then I've got things to pack this afternoon. I hope you enjoyed seeing my naughty stash of buttons. <laughs> go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day Wow, it's, it's been a really long day today. I haven't had much chance to video much crafting, but we've been packing orders. Adam's been helping too, haven't you, Adam? I have. <laughs> and um, basically tomorrow, the 18th of December, is the last date to place your order so that you'll get it in time for Christmas. If you order anything on the 21st of December or after, it won't be processed till after Christmas because I'm going to have a couple of days off, um, which will be lovely. Anyway, it's time for Advents. You deserve lots of chocolates for helping me, Adam. Which day are we on? 17, is day it? 17, yep. We'll be down there. Oh, we've got, they'll probably be melted because they're closer to the radiator. Yeah. A Fro Rocher, a Galaxy. Oh, and a rather soft lint. Oh dear, is it a bit squashy? Stick it in the fridge. Eat it quick. <laughs> So we're on day 17 of your Lego advent. Yeah, day 17. Oh, it's piano. It's time for my chocolate. Mm. Oh, there's lots in here. I can feel it. I can feel it. We've got a Galaxy. We've got a Snickers and something else. And a Bounty. So we've got three chocolates today. So this is my little angel that I made, or rather large angel. I made her a couple of years ago to put on the Christmas tree, but she is pretty tall. And I went to put her up on the Christmas tree and she was way, way too big she wouldn't stay at the top of the tree so she now resides at the bottom of the Christmas tree but I am hoping this weekend to make an angel in a similar style to go on the top of the Christmas tree but a little bit smaller <laughs> so she's made from a pattern from a Tilda book I will leave a link in the description down below of which book it was and she's got some wings on the back she has, her dress is sort of part of her body at the top here, but then she's got this skirt material. And this is made out of some vintage lace um, that was given to me by a friend. And she was supposed to obviously be an angel for the top of the tree, and hence she was all in white, but <laughs> unfortunately she's a little bit too big, but I am really pleased with her. And she, she still makes a good addition to the Christmas decorations. Let me give you a Christmas 